this is me and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to teach you how to rig and texture your shoe wear. Now, I'll be using Maya 2022 and also Unity 2018 for this video. And I've decided to merge the part 2 and part 3. So, uh, this will be the last video for this series. Now, um, I am very sorry for grammatical errors and stutters since I am filming this live. Now, without further ado, let's get started, meow! Okay, so uh, we are here as we left it. Then I guess the next thing we'll do is delete these two, the mask and the mask one because we don't need that anymore. So delete that. And then click your model and click Alt Shift D. That deletes the history of this shoe wear and we don't need that anyways. The next thing we'll do is drag drop the creator base set that we used in the beginning. So just drop it here and then as you can see it's you know the standard that will we need to change the hips the values of the hips to the values that we used earlier so um, 58 for this one and let's change this one to 20 this one to negative 20 because we used that value earlier while we are modeling and I'm very sorry for my voice I just woke up a few hours ago I can't click it <laughs> Okay, negative 20. Alright, now that we've finished changing the values of the hips, the next thing we'll do is click the hips and then click the cylinder. I mean the model. And then F3, if you haven't been in the rigging section, just click F3 and then click skin and then click bind skin. Now after that, you'll need to click the mask click the shoe wear and then click skin and then copy skin weights now that lets us copy the the weights of the skin to the shoe wear and this should move uh, better than expected I mean rather than rigging it manually you can just do it like this so you can see it moves very well now after that that's actually the rigging process all you need to do is click the mask Click Alt Shift D to remove uh, the history of the mask or more on to unbind it from the hips. But yeah, now we'll move this out and then also this out. Delete this because I don't like it. And this should be the uh, what you call that hierarchy? I'm not sure, but it should be mask, hips, then your shoe wear. After that, just click the mask. Click F2, uh, click Mesh Display, Paint Vertex the box near the Paint Vertex tool, and then, oh wait, it surpasses, okay. Now, all you need to do is click Display, be sure that the RGB is clicked as well, and then max this out to white, and then just click Alt F to flood it. Now, we are actually finished with the rigging. Now, all we need to do is export this, export selection, and then just export this as tutorial shoe. And now we're going to the Unity. Now, I've prepared a folder for this. Now, where is it? For a bit okay oh here we go I create I, I already prepared a folder so I could just drop drop it wait for a bit tutorial shoe here okay now the next thing we'll do is of course create some materials now just right click create material and then yeah create material now I'll use this you can use standard width but I would want to use this instead since it's almost the same. Okay, now let me make it matte. And then, what color should we do? Black? Yeah, black. Okay, now let's add a little bit of shine. 
because I don't know maybe a leather leather thing kind of okay now that's good next thing we'll do is drag drop the material here to the shoe um, then click apply after clicking apply of course it will now be black I mean the shoe will now be black now that's it's looking good all we need to do is convert this to prefab but if you would want to use a UV instead I mean you want a you know design or pattern maybe let's use this one just drag drop it to albedo and then make this white and it will be like that and if you look at your shoe okay where, where is it once again okay if you look at your shoe it will be transferred there I mean well it's not like we can see it clearly but the design is there okay but for me I want it to be wait I want it to be white I mean black so just plain black anyways the next thing we'll do after that is convert this to prefab by clicking this FBX right click and then Zepetto Studio and then convert to Zepetto style that will make this FBX into a prefab now this one will need to add heights just click the prefab and then click open prefab now there are a lot of things going on in here just click this I mean to minimize I think yeah now all we need to do is right click uh, create empty game object yes now we'll need to rename this as expressions then right click once again create empty and then we'll name this underscore hips and from here on since I am lazy all we need to do is oh wait uh, just drag it here so it will be under the expressions but since I am lazy and I want to make this tutorial quick I am going to delete this and just you know paste the expressions that I prepared before now don't worry I am going to include the values on the description below you can just copy paste this like for this one um, example is hips the position of the hips uh, you can just copy this value this whole value and then just paste it here this to here and then this to here and let me change this to bit. okay now let me explain this I use 20 because the value we used for the toes are 20 so 20 then 20 then 20 then the hips this one is the height I mean how tall the the va uh, eh. how tall the avatar would be if they wear your shoe now don't overdo this because the avatar will float <laughs> but you know you can experiment anyways after adding those expressions now just drag here and then add it to the hips now after that all we need to do is right click and then export it as that zapero now with this uh, you'll just need to upload this to the studio and that's it for this video for the texturing for the rigging it's really easy than doing a dress so yes <laughs> so um, if you have questions feel free to drop it down on the comment section I'll be sure to reply to it and also if you want me to teach you some more things just comment it also and yeah that's it for this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and bye-bye!